What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool change that Apple actually added to the reduced motion settings inside of iOS 13. So this is actually different from iOS 12, they added a new toggle that allows for a pretty cool animation that I actually like very much. So it's a very small feature, but I will show you guys what it's like on iOS 12. So on iOS 12, when you turn on reduce motion, this is the effect it has on the home screen. So when you open up an application, you no longer get the jumping into the app effect. You'll see that there is an animation when you tap on different subcategories inside of settings. It goes from right to left and vice versa if you go back. But inside of iOS 13, if you go under the motion settings and turn on reduce motion, you will see that there's a new toggle. But before that's turned on, it's just like iOS 12, but once you turn on this toggle, any subcategory has this really cool transition, kind of like as if you were to close an application. So you can see that I'm going to click the back button, and then, of course, you'll see that new animation. So this is new to iOS 12. So you can still swipe back like normal, but rather than getting the animation, if you tap the back button, you get this nice fade-in transition. It's like a cross-dissolved transition. You can also see that pulling down control center looks a little bit different as well. It's just a little more fluid. And you can see this is iOS 12 once again. Anyways, that's just about it for today. Taking a quick look at the new transition in iOS 13.